First tonight, uh, demonstrators gather on the steps of City Hall in St. Pete demanding a solution to the housing crisis. This is Nightside. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lee. The calls come as St. Pete City Council discusses their proposed budget. We will get to that in a moment. But tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell spoke to neighbors who say they simply can't afford to live in the city anymore. A quick look around and you'll see new developments all over St. Pete. But folks living here say... Yes, housing is there, but they can't afford it. That's why a coalition of different activists, organizations, and unions gathered at St. Pete City Hall on Thursday to make sure council members know what's at stake. We must demand that the council listens to the needs of the residents. Healthcare worker Karen Scott says she's seen firsthand how one of her colleagues is struggling. Full-time job, working at a nursing home, barely making $15 an hour, and cannot afford to put a roof over her head with her children. Those are the stories that these groups want council to keep in mind when they make the budget for the upcoming fiscal year. We want to see the values of the community align with the values in the budget. We have to look at all elements of the budget and see where the need really is. And if it requires shifting of, shifting of those dollars, our elected officials have the capacity to make those same tough decisions. Leaders from the group say they're hoping more money is allocated to things like protecting the environment, infrastructure, public education, and of course... The affordable housing. If they're only hearing from uh, the developers, if they're only hearing from big corporations, then they're going to think that's what the priority is. And soon the people of St. Pete will get to see where council's priorities lie. And Scott hopes that whatever they decide will help people like her colleague. Working homeless family. Is that what St. Petersburg want to represent? These are tax paying people, but still homeless. Put something in there to help people like that.